What's up guys and welcome to a box opening video for the brand new set Dominaria. I'm really excited about this set for once. Uh, usually I don't really care too much about standard but I think this set is really fantastic. While we open up this wrapper here I do want to mention this box opening video is sponsored by G2K Games in Rock Hill. Uh, you can actually check out their link down in the description below. Um, they just had, I know they had a pre-release last night as well as a pre-release going on today. Uh, and they've got quite a lot of product out there, especially singles if you're looking for anything in particular. Um, and they're also working on updating their system as well. I would highly, highly recommend going to check them out. Uh, I do appreciate what they are doing for us. So uh, pass that on to them, guys. They're they're really fantastic. So. We are going to open all of these booster packs today and see what we get. Uh, if you don't know, there's a lot of really cool stuff in this set. Uh, there's a brand new Mox, which is fantastic. A new Karn. Uh, Teferi is great. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows offhand what Teferi does, but he is really, really good. Uh, so we'll take a quick peek. We'll very quickly go through the commons and uncommons um, as they are good. You also, uh, I do want to mention you always get a legendary creature in every pack, which is awesome. Uh, Aurelia, uh, Knight of Windgrace. <laughs> Pardon me if I get any of these uh, pronunciations incorrect. Um, also, this does feature the new Saga cards, which you can see right here. Um, and basically, these are enchantments, but they are a new subtype of Saga. And they enter the battlefield, you get a counter on it, and then it has two more activations that happen on following turns. Um, that are actually really, really cool. Well, all right, there we go. Uh, we got Karn right off the bat. That is fantastic. All right, pretty happy with that. New Karn is awesome. Uh, no, he is not the giant seven ca casted beater that he was before. He doesn't necessarily win you the game right out, but he is very, very good. And what's fantastic is because he's reasonably cast, uh, reasonably costed, excuse me, um, he can actually be placed in a lot of different decks. Zayed, Gen of the Lamp. Um, so he actually provides basically card advantage for a lot of different decks, which I think is absolutely great. Um, he's probably, next to maybe the Mox, he is probably one of my favorite cards out of this set. Um, and that's saying something, well, Two mythics already. Daragaz reincarnated, a fantastic card as well. Uh, oops, there we go. Um, two mythics, guys, and they're pretty good. Um, <laughs> so he he is really really fantastic. I like Karn a lot, um, but again, Mox might be my favorite uh, if I had to say. Uh, I think honestly though, time will tell because I don't know exactly how good Mox is. Uh, Yagmoth's Vile Offering. Uh, Shauna is actually really interesting too. I like that card a lot. Um, it's not amazing, but it's really, really good in the right deck. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I also want to point out too, and I mentioned this in my weekly ramble, which hopefully will start to become a random weekly thing, but... Uh, ooh, Foil Mountain. That's great. All right, third mythic. Uh, Demon Lord, Bells and Lock. Another great story card, not necessarily amazing in play, but still pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, so I mentioned in the weekly ramble basically that they planned on fixing card quality and um, that some players should be able to tell a difference just right off the bat with Dominaria. Um, Verdant Force, by the way, is our rare. Uh, I've, I don't know, I've opened now a few packs of this, and as I continue through this, I can say. It does feel a little bit better, uh, but really, I ooh, Land of Worlds is great. Um, but really, only time will tell with that as well, because I mean, we're not really gonna know Sylvan Awakening uh, until we give it some time, and hopefully, the cards do not warp. That's really the big question. Um, obviously, having them sit out for a little while or something like that, I'm sure some people will be testing the theory. So we'll see what happens over time, but. Uh, my hope is that they're on the right track with this. So, Thran, Temporal Gateway, a Foil Tragic Poet, and Ergoros. Excuse me, guys. Uh, these names are hilarious. Uh, I do also want to point out that uh, because you get a Legendary in every pack, sometimes the rare comes a bit earlier than it normally would. Uh, so, let's see. Another Saga. 
uh, Tempest Gem, a Foil Natu Nature's Spiral, and Rona. Um, so in case uh, you did pre-release this weekend, I'd really like to hear your stories, what kind of deck uh, you actually went out of your way to build. Um, I know there were a lot of people playing um, just a variety of decks, but a lot of really, really cool stuff creeping up. Uh, Tra Traxos. Traxos? Traxos? I'm not sure. Um, really sweet card, though. And uh, basically, a lot of people were saying that this format seems so much more powerful than past standard formats in the past couple of years. And just based off of uh, looking at the cards individually, that seems to be the case. Clifftop Retreat. Love that these are reprinted, by the way. Um, and I could not be happier. I think this is really... Not only is it bringing us home to Dominaria, which I think is fantastic, um, it seems to at least have done it very, very close to the best that they could have done it. Um, the Antiquities War. Uh, no, it's not a perfect set. Uh, I don't think there has been a perfect set, so that makes sense to me. I don't think this is by any means uh, as good as something like Innistrad, um, because Innistrad was very, very unique. Uh, a lot a lot of flavor there. Ooh, a foil, the mending of Dominaria. That's pretty sweet, actually. And then a second, Trax Um it, it just seems like a really great set. So I'm super, super happy with this. Uh, I'm looking forward to giving it a shot as far as playing it. I did not get to pre-release, unfortunately. Um, Jaya's Immolating Inferno and a foil, Frenzied Rage. Um, so I have not gotten to play with this quite yet, but uh, we are planning to do hopefully some brawl action with this uh, in the coming weeks uh, with Will and I. Um, we do not have a set date or a plan necessarily, but we'll figure that out. Daring Archaeologist and a foil Adelise. Um, so we hopefully will be able to bring you that uh, as soon as possible. That way you guys can see us. Uh, learning the format, hopefully just like you guys are, and hopefully enjoying it quite a lot, um, as it does seem to be just really, really good. So, um, we will see. Two-headed giant. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I also want to point out that we will probably be doing another box opening of this. Um, uh, p potentially two more, I'm not 100% sure, but we will do our best to keep these coming for you. Uh, these... I think this is one of the best sets to open right now, just in terms of, yes, it's, ooh, squee. Yes, it's the standard set, but it's also just a really good standard set. So um, I will probably open a good bit of this, uh, which means you guys get to watch all of it. Um, normally, I only record one box opening of a set uh, with the intention of recording another, but then I never really get around to it or something like that happens. Ooh, Grand Warlord Rada. Happy to see that. Great re or not reprint, but um, update to Rada, also. Um, so yeah, I will probably do at least one or two more box openings for this on the actual channel. So if you're interested in those, definitely stay tuned. Uh, I also want to point out too that you may have realized recently, Goblin Chain Whirler, excuse me. Um, you may have realized recently that we have been posting a lot more content. Um, so we've got, of course, our random cracker packs. Uh, all that is still coming to you three times a week. Interesting. Um, on top of that, we, of course, have our podcast. But uh, we also have, ooh, Forebear's Blade. Uh, we also now have deck techs going up on Tuesdays. Uh, and we're cycling through formats for those. So I believe this coming week, we're actually looking into Popper. Uh, but we've already done a legacy and a modern deck tech. So if you're interested in watching those, by all means, uh, they're meant to be very quick reviews of the decks. Hinterland Harbor, by the way. Uh, not necessarily super in-depth, but just to give you a basis. That way you can go build it for yourself. Um, they're really, really fun to record, but they do take a lot of time, unfortunately. So we're going to do our best to keep up with those, and that way you guys can see all of it. Uh, but uh, the Mirari Conjecture with a foil, ooh, final parting. My piles are getting messed up here, guys. Hold on one second. Um, but on top of that also, and I already mentioned the weekly ramble, uh, we're going to try and keep that going every week uh, on Thursdays. So that way we've got content coming to you every single day of the week. 
And then obviously one of videos like these probably will be dedicated to Saturdays or Sundays, uh, just whenever we can actually get them up. But um, we do have a pre-release kit that we're going to open here as well. Woodland Cemetery, all the lands. I'm happy with that. Uh, we do have a pre-release kit that we'll be opening up. And I think the plan with that is to actually look at it as if we are pre-releasing so we can maybe try and build a deck out of it. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be the case. We haven't recorded it quite yet. In fact, that's on the, the list right after this one, in fact. So we will see. Uh, Territorial... Allosaurus, excuse me. <laughs> um, also, we are in the last stack of packs here. Hoping for another Mythic. Uh, really, really hoping for that Mox Amber. Um, I've already got Karn, so I'm pretty happy there. Teferi would also be great. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys can enjoy that pre-release kit as well. We haven't done that quite yet, so that's a new uh, area for us. Oath of Teferi. And a Foil Lanoir Scout. Um... Yeah, we haven't actually been able to open up a pre-release kit on the channel yet, so I'm excited. That's a new territory for us. Um, we're also adding to the Kraken Packs a little bit, just in terms of another elf. Icy Manipulator. Dampening Sphere is great, by the way. Um, <laughs> isolated Jappel. Uh, we're, we're looking at the packs from a limited standpoint, so instead of just opening them up and saying, well, here's our rare, uh, we're actually going through it as if it was a draft setting. So we'll look at it, we'll determine what our first round pick would actually be, and then we would uh, hopefully move forward with that Dread Shade. That's a cool card. Um, so that's sort of the way we are looking at it from here on out. I really like that because not only do you get to see a cool pack opening, hopefully, uh, from a pack that you don't normally get to see, uh, but you also get to hopefully go into the mind of a draft uh, setting Shalai, that's a great card. Um, and actually, you know, look at that in terms of a draft setting. That way you can put yourself in those shoes and tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm right, <laughs> uh, which is totally fine either way. Uh, again, this is our perspective on things, but it's just really for fun. So follow the Thran. Uh, this guy, by the way, is amazing and limited, just so you know. Um, but yeah, so really really awesome i'm excited about this set if you guys did not draft uh or excuse me play the pre-release um i would highly suggest picking up a few packs and even just playing with your friends for a bit it's a very very good set uh to char uh so i would definitely recommend that also before you do i would say go check out the limited resources set review uh they do one obviously if you don't know who limited resources is you really should go look at them it is LSV and Marshall Sutcliffe, uh, Josu Vess. Um, they do a really, really good job with their set review. They are very thorough. Um, they give everything a grading that you can then look at uh, when you're actually drafting this set. So, ooh, this pack. So I would highly suggest checking that out before you actually draft or play sealed, just because it might give you some insight that you didn't necessarily think of at first. Uh, Precognition field. Yargle is the card everybody's excited about because <laughs> it's a 9-3 frog spirit. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Um, <laughs> the stats of that just make no sense in the best way. Um, but yeah, so definitely fun. Definitely let us know. Ooh, there we go. Teferi, right there. Hero of Dominaria. Super, super happy with that. Um, still no mocks, but I got two of the other cards I was really looking for, so I'm actually pretty happy. Um, and this is our next to last pack. Uh, I don't know if we'll get another mythic. Probably not. Um, normally you can expect between four and six. So we're not quite there yet. Uh, Foil Skittering Surveyor and Joda. Again, I apologize if I'm saying any of these incorrectly. And our last pack. Let's see what we get. Opt, by the way, is awesome. All right. All right. Uh, Kazarov, Singir, Pure Blood, a great card actually, especially in limited. Pretty happy with that. But really, the the highlight is Karn and Teferi. Both of these cards are fantastic. Demon Lord Belzenlock is great as well. Is and Daragaz is pretty awesome too. I really like the Jun coloring there. Um, but 
Guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, box opening video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to comment and uh, subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of our, uh, our content coming out. Like I said, we've got a lot coming to you. I do want to also mention before we head out that G2K did sponsor this as well. Go uh, follow them in the link down below. They, they really have done a lot for us with this, and so we really appreciate it. With that, though, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys.